or dear students today we'll see what do you mean by color tv transmitters so here our today's topic will be a color tv transmitter now to start with we will see the basics of a tv transmitter and also the color tv systems so to start with we see that there are three main analog broadcast television systems in around the world and they are named as pal the first one which is called as phase alternating line the second one is ntsc which is called as national television system committee and the third one is ccam which is called as sequential color a memory sequential color with memory okay so these are the three systems which are followed all over the world and in india in our country we follow the pal system that is phase alternating line system which has advantages over the ntsc system and gives a nice color combination at the output so here the systems used in the america and part of the far east are ntsc ntsc is used in america and the far east the pal is used in most of asia western europe australia africa and eastern southern american and ccam is used in eastern europe and france so let's start with a basic function of a transmitter now if you see a basic tv transmitter as we have shown in this figure basic tv or transmitter will have two inputs one is from the camera so here we show this is from the camera which is light signal okay and this is sound which is from the microphone so here you are having video input video input and here you are having sound input so video input that is light that is scanned the picture is scanned by the tv camera here then the output video signal is amplified then it is done am modulation am modulation because we want a vestigial sideband and amplitude modulate a carrier from here and that will be your video signal which is coming which will be your vestigial sideband signal which is coming similarly if you see the sound signal the microphone the sound signal will be amplified here it will be frequency modulated a carrier will be frequency modulated according to the sound signal then you are having a amplification and you are going to transmit the sound signal that sound signal will come from here so this is your sound so sound and video or both are combined in a combining network here you are going to combine them and then you are going to transmit it through the antenna for the or transmission of the video and audio associated with the tv transmission so this is the basic working of a tv transmitter and based on this only your monochrome tv that is black and white tv and your color tv will come into picture so if you are speaking about monochrome tv that is black and white tv then we will speak only about the brightness signal okay so the brightness of the picture will be either more or high and in, in terms of that it will show whether the picture is white or black but when you come for a color tv then from the camera you are going to get three signals okay that is rgb that is red green and blue and taking those three signals you have to code and then decode at the receiver so here we we are going to use three signals red green and blue and then develop the other colors from there that is red green and blue will be your primary colors and then we are going to develop the other colors from there so if you see here the or diagram how do we generate the signals 
for a color TV transmitter in a PAL system. So we will follow the PAL system because in our country it is PAL. So here you can see that initially we have shown a red camera, green camera and blue camera. Okay, so here you can see red camera. So here you are having a red camera. So here you are having green camera and here you are having blue camera. Okay. So the red camera will produce the red voltage, which will be called as VR. Green our camera will produce the green voltage, which will be called as VG. Blue camera will produce the blue voltage, which will be called as VB. Now here, basically this figure is showing how we are going to obtain a luminance signal, which gives the brightness information and the color difference signals between R, G and B and how they are combined to form the video signal. Okay. So here, as we have seen that there are three R cameras, that is red camera, green camera and blue camera and they will generate their individual voltages as VR, VG and VB and those three voltages will be taken along the resistances and they are coming to a common point the red voltage is coming here and this is the green voltage and this is the blue voltage just coming here and all three are meeting here and this is your Y amplifier Y amplifier okay now here this Y amplifier is going to generate your luminance signal or the brightness signal the brightness in all the three information whatever you get that brightness is going to get in uh, generated here and that brightness also will be inverted here and that brightness will be taken as a brightness signal here so here you can see your y signal coming as your brightness signal okay so the values of r1 r2 and r3 resistances in the matrix are so chosen that the three color voltage added up in ratio of 0.3 r 0.59 green and 0.11 blue to give the Y signal as equal to one, okay? So we know that the Y signal, when we had studied luminance signal, the Y signal, that is the brightness signal, is nothing but a 30% of a red, and then it is 59% of green, and then it is 11% of blue, okay? Blue, so Y is equal to one, when the picture is white and y is equal to zero when the picture is dark now this is how you are going to generate here your y signal and that y signal will be amplified here and that is taken as your brightness information okay for a color information there are a three possible color different signals okay because there are three colors we can have three possible different signals so those can be your r minus y first different signals that is red minus the luminance signal then you can have b minus y then you can have g minus y okay so these are the three or different signals which we can get from the three primary color information now these three signals okay uh, are not necessary for us to send all the three signals it is observed from analysis that by any two different signals, we can generate afterwards all the three primary colors. So it is necessary for us to generate any two signals. And from these three signals, the most convenient to or transmit are the B minus Y and R minus Y signal. So B minus Y and R minus Y, that is the first two, whatever we have written here are important and from those two we are going to generate afterwards the third one also and then afterwards it will help us to generate the primary colors also okay so here in the top line we see the signal which is going from the red camera here you are going straight here and here you are going to have the inverted y so if you add them you will get r minus y and r minus y comes out here Okay, R minus 1. Similarly, here if you take blue, 
So here blue is going to come and blue will be added with the inverted y and here you will get b minus y and b minus y will be generated here. So r minus y and b minus y are the two signals we are going to generate. Okay, now this r minus y and b minus y will be called as u and v signals. These signals are referred as u and v signals in PAL, that is phase alternation by line system, which is followed in India. Similarly, if you are uh, studying about NTSC system, then this u and v will be referred as i and q. Okay, but here we will not get uh, confused. We will follow only PAL and we will follow that these signals that is r minus y and b minus y are named as u and v signal and the y signal is giving you the brightness information so the color information is in the u and v signal whereas the brightness information is in the y signal okay so with this background we can go to study uh, what is a color tv transmitter so here you can see a color tv a transmitter now in this uh, transmission, you see that initially you are having a matrix. Okay, so here you can show a matrix. So initially here you are showing a matrix. Okay, so this is from the camera. You are getting a red color, you are getting green color and you are getting blue color as the three outputs. And then you are having a matrix. This matrix is nothing but what we have shown in the last diagram. It is going to generate U signal and V signal, that is R minus Y and B minus Y. The U signal will be properly transferred from a low pass filter with a proper frequency range and it is given to a balanced modulator. Okay, whose phase shift is or whose frequency a carrier frequency is zero degree having phase shift. Similarly, Y will go through low pass filter here of their respective frequency and then it goes to a V balanced modulator which will be phase shifted between plus minus 90 degree. So here we have shown that it is phase shifted between plus minus 90 degree. Okay. Now the phase of the carrier to the V signal is switched between plus 90 degree and minus, minus 90 degree on alternate line intervals in order to cancel out the phase errors. Okay, So in PAL, we are going to see the color information of the next line depending on the present line. Okay, So that is why the V balanced modulator will phase shift the V signal into plus and minus 90 degree for alternate lines. And then those will get added. Those will get added here. Okay. That is your color information is getting added. Then it's filtered. And here you see your C color signal. This is C, which is your prominent signal, prominent signal, which is holding your color information. Color information. Okay. Now this is what your color signal is generated. Now this color signal will be added to the brightness signal which is coming from here. So this matrix is also generated a brightness signal as you have seen in the last circuit. And that brightness signal will be added with many uh, line in blank and sync pulses which are required for synchronization. And then brightness is added with those in this adder. Then it is delayed because the color signal has to be generated till then it is delayed and then that Y signal along with your other uh, blanking and sync pulses will be added with your chrominal signals here. So here your brightness and color information is added. Then that is your video signal which will be amplified. Okay. Now that video signal is going to amplitude modulate a carrier. That carrier will be generated here and then it will be multiplied in terms of frequency then it will be amplified with class c amplifier then again power amplifier and then here your amplitude modulation takes place so this is the information wave which is coming and this is the carrier wave which is coming and amplitude modulation takes place in which we are going to take vestigial sideband transmission 
that is a complete upper sideband and a part of lower sideband and that we are going to give as video signal here to the combining network video signal similarly on other side you will be having a audio signal from the mic which goes through the audio processing circuits it will be frequency modulated and from here this sound signal that is audio signal will go and audio and video both will get combined and go through the or transmitting antenna and it will be transmitted okay so here you see the sub carrier system okay which which has to see the phase shifts of the u signal and the v signal and that, that is how the switching of plus 90 degree and minus 90 degree takes place and that is how your v signal is phase shifted between plus and minus 90 degree for alternate lines okay so this is how you are going to get your brightness signal y and the color combinator signal c and that you are going to combine and send it to a transmitting antenna okay along with your sound signal so your video signal will have the information of y and c whereas your sound signal will be frequency modulated sound signal it will be in a separate side by okay so then both these are going to get combined and get are transmitted through the transmitting antenna so this is how your pal color transmitter works okay well, thank you students